welcome back to the hay meadow my name is Haley, and today it's a friday so obviously we're friday sewing well we're not actually friday sewing we will be friday sewing a bit later but just not right now so you might notice that uh, i am wearing my other heron blouse yes i am and they are wonderful so while i'm talking about this blouse um, i will move over a little bit here and over here i will put my little twirls that i took in the backyard just before and um, you can see them so the first one is in the Many Magnolia, which I picked up from Spotlight. Uh, it's a beautiful rayon, and as you can see, that has come up absolutely lovely. So for this version, you'll see that I've actually done the dip at the back. So I couldn't decide where I wanted to put a tag on this one. So at present, it's tagless which is fine, that's no problems. So now this second one I've made in this absolutely gorgeous Atelier Brunette Viscose Dobby. I picked this up from Fabric Hunt um, back in tw uh, February of 2022. So it's been sitting in the stash for a little bit, um, waiting for the right particular item to make. Um, this I picked up 1.75 meters. I have a feeling that at that time, Atelier Jupe may have released their Frida blouse because I went on a bit of a spree buying 1.75 meters of fabric to make, I don't know what I was thinking, 100 um, Frida blouses. I haven't made 100 Frida blouses. I made two. There's probably going to be another one this year. Um, but yes, yeah, so I have a number of pieces that are 1.75. So mm. anyway, back to this one. Um, so this is pretty much a wash and wear fabric. Uh, the didn't crease. Um, I don't think I even ironed it. I didn't even need to iron it after I finished making it. I just hung it up and got dressed and went to work the next day. Easy peasy. Now you will see that I did put a... Um, tag on this one you'll also see that I've leveled off the hem so one thing with the many magnolias I kind of felt that it was a little bit long for me as I've said before I'm quite um, short-waisted so my torso is quite short um, and I felt it was a little bit long so it sort of sat probably just an inch or so below where I would normally like um, like a a blouse to sit, a top, a shirt, a t-shirt um, to sit. So I thought what I would do, and I had already, I was already doing, I was doing the hem. So I didn't cut it out like that originally, but once I had cut it out and started sewing it, I thought to myself, oh, I meant to actually take this second one up, probably about an inch, um, but I'd totally forgotten. So I thought to myself, okay, I'd already sewn up side seams done all of that I thought okay what about if I just across the bottom and that's exactly what I did it wasn't quite with that speed of but it definitely was a as I um, ran the cutter over it so so yes so I've just done a straight it's got a very 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 gentle curve uh, probably not even noticeable um, just enough so it's not dead flat um, and then I realized that I couldn't tell the back from the front. So I've, I put the, I've put the tag on in such a way that I can tell which side is the back and which is the front. But yeah, so really loving this. These have a raglan sleeve. Um, so they're, just, they're so easy to throw together. Honestly, for what comes out, the construction and the pieces is so simple. Very, very simple. Okay, so that's those two blouses. I will be entering both of them into the so April blouse. Uh, and we'll still have next week to go, so I may be able to get another blouse of some description. Um, knocked over by then. We'll see. Now, when I was opening my box um, Wednesday, I think it was, um, You'll remember that I actually got the wardrobe by me Miri dress as the discount code for this month. So I was bursting at the seams to buy the Miri dress. And so I went on and 
whilst I was on there, I had to reset my password for my account on there. So then when I went into my email to get the, you know, what they do, the reset, whatever it is, follow the link, um, I did a search at the top for wardrobe by me and just brought up because I hadn't checked my email. So the email's coming in and it was going to get lost in there. So I thought this is the easiest way. I'll do a search by the sender. Um, and what popped up straight underneath was the Easter newsletter that was sent out, which had another discount code. This was the Easter discount code, um, which actually is a buy three, get one free. So effectively, you're buying three patterns and getting one free, which is exactly what buy three, get one free means, Haley. I don't need to explain that. Anyway, so... I ended up buying four patterns because I still wanted to use the discount from um, Kristen because, you know, in case she gets something from the affiliation with that, I want to make sure that that happens. Um, so what did I get? I got the Miri dress. Fabulous. Looking forward to making that. I also picked up uh, the Whisper blouse, um, the Esther blouse. And what was the other one? Oh, oh, it was a dress. What dress was it? I can't remember the name of it now, but it's um, got a panel in the front here that, um, oh God, I'm going to have to stand up. So it's got a tie, so it's got a panel in the front here that makes sort of a um, arch. If it was a door, it would be an archway, um, an arch. And then there's ties that come around and cinch it in at the waist. Um, so I picked that dress up as well. So stocking up on my wardrobe by me patterns. Now from memory, and I should have written it down, honestly, the preparedness of my videos is just something to be amazed at. Um, I'm pretty sure that that three for one of three for the price of two sale um goes all the way to the end of april so april 30 pretty sure it was easter 23 was the code so if you're in the market for any of the wardrobe by me um patterns if you haven't had a look for a while go over and take a look uh if you've been coveting something from wardrobe by me now could be the perfect time to um to grab that up okay so that's my wardrobe by me um, advert. <laughs> this is, there is no affiliations here. Um, now, another thing left over from that video the other day. <clears throat> At the end there, I did have an epiphany of just how much fabric I've got incoming at the moment. And then I glanced over and saw fabric that I actually bought last weekend. So, and I hadn't even thought about it, but I've got it here. Well, I've got a couple of bits, a couple of bits of gifts, so I won't show those. But what I want to do is I want to make some skirts. I've been looking for um, a nice, gentle A-line skirt, probably just under knee, like just below knee length, um, up to about midi length. It's I'm a bit weird when it comes to the length of a skirt. I'm not quite sure where my cutoff point is at present. Um... But I bought a couple of uh, wool blends to make some skirts from. So the first one is this one here. And that's just in a nice, um, you can see it's a check. There's a, a darker stripe. And then you might be able to see this caramel type stripe just through here. So this one's in a nice brown. I thought that would make a nice... A nice skirt, uh, great with boots and tights. So I thought that would be great. I need something to go with all these blouses that I'm making. And then the next one is similar, but different color, um, is this one. So this is in a gray, again, with the brown stripe and the caramel through um, going horizontally there. So I think that's the horizontal stripe anyway. Hang on, let me have a look. That's the, nope, the caramel stripe is the long. There we go, that's the way it's supposed to go. So yes, so I got uh, two metres of each of those, um, not knowing what sort of skirt I was going to make. I did buy one recently um, 
I can't remember what one it is now, but it's got a little frill. It's a sort of a high low. It's not a pencil skirt, but it's a straight skirt. And then it's got like a high low um, ruffle peplum that goes around the bottom of it, or a ruffle that goes around. Um, I thought that one might be quite nice. So, given that these are um, a wool blend, it's the same on both sides basically. Then something like that, where you see the inside of the of the ruffle, that would be perfect. In so we'll see. Never know. The other thing that I did get there now, little Mr. Lincoln. Uh, loves being outside he is a typical little boy loves to be outside running around from dawn till dusk if he could be outside he would be outside now as we're going into winter um, it is getting a little bit colder and obviously wet weather so what I thought I might do was make him some little uh, pull-on over pants to go over his like whatever he's wearing on the day so I while I was in spotlight I went and checked out their soft shell and found the perfect the perfect one some little dinosaurs so I think I got a meter and a half maybe two meters um, but um, I think it's a 148 wide so that's going to be plenty um, so I'll probably make, I might be able to make a little jacket as well, or even just like a loose um, pullover um, to go over the top of whatever he's wearing and keep him dry and warm while he's running amok outside. <clears throat> um, so there we are. That's it. That's it for another week. Another week has flown by. Um, so with that, I shall leave you to whatever you're doing on this Friday evening. Um, I am going to possibly go and have some dinner and then think about, actually, I probably need to do a clean up in here. I haven't done a good clean up in between the last couple of projects. So I probably need to do a really good clean up. Um, yeah, maybe I'll do that. I'll put some videos on and I'll do that. I think that's what I'll do. Anyway, I will see you next week. Have a great weekend. Bye.